Welcome, I'm Megan Walker and this is the letter I in the A to Z of real time marketing and we are talking about indicating fields for audience configuration. So what's that all about? Well, if you think about when you've been sending your emails previously, you were picking the email address that you were um, using, so basically the email field. And in this real-time marketing area, what we can do now is we can indicate what fields we want to use for the text messages, what fields we want to use for emails, and then also if you're using customer insights as well, what fields you might want to use that map to the customer profile. So let's go ahead and let's have a look and see where we do this and what changes we can make. Okay, so if we go in from real-time marketing and we go to the settings area, now if we scroll down, under customer engagement we have this audience configuration section. Now audience configuration, you are not able to create new records, it already has records for contacts, leads and then like I said, this uh, MS DYNCI, which is your customer insights, and that's the customer profile. We're not going to go into that because I don't have customer insights and I don't really know it, so we're going to leave that alone. But what we can see is we've got two records for each. We've got text message and we have email. So let's go ahead and open up the one for a contact record and let's look at text messages. Okay, so with the text messages, we have the default recipient field. So by default, it's saying I'm going to use the mobile phone number field on a contact record. It's the one that makes the most sense. You can change it, but what you can also do is you can say, well, not only do we want to use the mobile phone number, but maybe we want to use the business phone or a, a different phone number field that you have created. So sometimes people have a personal mobile phone number and then maybe also have a business one as well. So you could differentiate between the two. So if we do that and we add in other recipient fields, and we can actually select additional ones, so maybe there's also, let's see, maybe the assistant's phone, the manager's phone, whatever. So we can select different ones, we can see it's adding those into um, that area, so we're able to select more than one. So once I do save and close, then we can see what fields are available for that. Now the email is going to be a little bit different with that, you can only have one field that you're mapping to. So you can't say, well, we'll do email or we'll do email two or email three. It's one field. So I'm not thinking too many people will be coming in and changing and saying, oh, let's switch to email address three. It makes the most sense of using the default email field. So we're not going to change anything there. So now that we have adjusted the text message for a contact, if I go into real-time marketing and I go to do a journey, and if I start a journey, so we're basically just going to pick anything because I just want to show you um, what happens. So let's click create. So now if I go and say I want to send a text message, the send to option now will have however many options it was that you selected if you use that um, optional or additional section to be able to select business phone or um, assistance phone or manager's phone, whatever it might be. So now I can say, right, well, this is a message I'm sending out to all business phone numbers or this is one I'm sending out to the regular phone number field. So whether or not you go and adjust the email field, I highly doubt anyone will be doing that. It would be really strange if you did because you'd have a very weird system that you'd set up to decide to create new custom email fields that were the defaults. Um, and then also with the phone numbers, that one you might have a more legitimate reason if, like I said, you're capturing different types of mobile phone number, then maybe you would, uh, you would go ahead and adjust that. And again, like I said, you can do that for the contact, for the lead, and then also there's the ability to set stuff up for customer insights, which is basically mapping stuff back into the customer profile. So very simple, very straightforward. Most people won't need to come in and adjust it, but it's good to know where you would go if you needed to change anything. So again, remember that is in the settings area in under audience configuration, where you can adjust set up additional fields for text messages or change the field that will be used for email address. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Mm, it's a fairly simple thing that we're looking at in this one, but it's important to know what's going on and how the settings are going to impact when you do your journeys and send out emails and text messages.
Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.